Pascal, a procedural high-level programming language famous for teaching a generation of kids from the 70s and 80s how to code. It was created by Nicholas Wirth in the late 1960s and named after French mathematician Blaise Pascal. It was originally based on the Algol 60 language, but expanded its data structuring abilities, allowing developers to build dynamic recursive data structures like trees and graphs. It got its big break when it became the language of choice on the Apple II, then Lisa and the Macintosh, and eventually became the default high-level language on nearly every PC. Over the years, it evolved into a variety of other dialects, most famously Turbo Pascal, brought to you by C Sharp creator Anders Heilsberg. It was one of the first languages with its own full-screen IDE, and in 1983, you could buy a copy at Circuit City for only $49.99, which, believe it or not, was a great deal. It was used extensively in education to teach people how to code, but also used to build serious desktop applications and games, such as Crisis Mountain, Gravity Wars, and IBM's Alley Cat. In modern times, its popularity has declined, but Pascal dialects like Delphi are still in use today, and you might find its syntax surprisingly familiar. To get started, install a compiler, like the free Pascal compiler, then create a file ending in .pas. As an alternative, you might use a dedicated IDE like Lazarus. First, we use the program keyword to define the main entry point for the app. Then we add the begin and end keyword with a period, which will execute the actual code in the program. This is like the main function in many other languages. From here, we can use the built-in right line function to say hello world. Pascal is a procedural language, which means instructions are executed in a linear sequence one after the other. Const is used to define immutable global data, while var is used to define values that might change throughout the execution of the program. Variables are strongly typed, using a syntax that looks almost identical to TypeScript. Now, our main program can be organized into subprograms, of which there are functions and procedures. Notice how they end with a semicolon and not a period, indicating a subprogram. At first glance, they look identical, but the difference is that a function returns a value, while a procedure is only used to execute code or create side effects. Like this isOdd function takes an integer as an argument, then returns a Boolean value. We use some conditional logic to determine that, then assign the result to the function name itself, which tells Pascal to return that value from the function. Now we can call the function from the main program and get a value back. Pascal is also very good at complex data structuring, like we might create a custom type for a record, which is a key value pair or a dictionary in other languages. From there, we can assign that type to a variable, then create records and access their fields with dot notation. And now that all the code is in place, we can build the executable with the compiler. This has been Pascal in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.